as a general rule, if you buy from Penn, Daiwa or Shimano, you're in pretty safe hands. That isn't always the case. This is the Daiwa AG5000A. It cost me 50 quid and I really don't like it for several reasons. But the Daiwa Ninja, which is the same price, is my favourite budget spinning reel. We're going to look at some spinning reels priced 20 quid up to 70. But first, let's have a quick look at the sizes. Ah. What do you mean, what would I put well, it on? Well, you can't start a sentence with a rod. A rod that's, that's three... Hi, I'm Will from Fishmag, and I've been taking people guiding the whole of the summer. This this is a 1,000 size reel. It's a, kind of around the smallest reel you can get, and I'd put it on a rod that's up to about 8 foot long that casts 10 grams. I need you to play with your rod for me, Will. This is the next size up from the 1,000 size, 2,500. Uh, this is great for rods that are below 30 grams and below 8 foot. Still kind of on the lighter end of things. The next size up from the 2500 is a 3000. They're the same body size as the 2500s, but they've just got a bigger spool. You'd put a 3000 size reel on a rod that casts up to about 40 grams and that's kind of up to about 9 foot long. Uh, it's one of the most popular reel sizes because you can use it for kind of bass fishing, wrasse fishing, perch fishing. The size up from 3,000 is 4,000. These are used for rods that are kind of 9 foot and for casting weights up to about 60 grams. You'd use a 4,000 reel for bass fishing in the surf or pike fishing. This is a 5,000 size reel. These are for kind of big fish, so I was using this reel to target 20 kilo fish. It's not really generally required in the UK. If you've got a generalist fishing rod, so a rod that's kind of 10 foot long that casts kind of 2 to 3 ounce, this will pair well with it. That was a useful guide, but as Will knows, unfortunately, it's not entirely accurate. And the reason for that is that real size varies both by manufacturer and by the specific product line. We are trying to experiment with as many reels on as many rods as we can. Our most up-to-date guide is available below. I used to recommend the Daiwa Shorecast. It's a little bit clunky, but it is at least tough and resilient, and that is a lot when you're spending 20, 25 quid on a reel. So I can recommend the Dyra Sweep Fire in the 4,000 size, it's gonna balance with a nine foot spinning rod. However, once I'd used the Shimano FX, I stopped recommending that one. This reel is basic, smooth, and will do everything you need. But if you spend a little bit more, you could get something like the Shimano Katana. The thing you get with the Katana is much better line lay. That means when you're fishing with braid, you're much less likely to get in tangles and the overall build quality is higher. We fished extensively with it and it didn't pack in. Now Savage Gear, they're new to the reels game, owned by Pure Fishing, same company as Penn, and they've released this very sleek, very well designed reel that's incredibly smooth. It does have a plastic handle. We don't know about salt water resistance yet. Will uh, had a few bass on this off the kayak and really enjoyed playing fish with it. The drag was fine and um, I definitely recommend it for perch fishing. Sea fishing, we're not sure yet, it's too early days. A reel to avoid is the Abu Garcia Cardinal. The reel feels loose and it has an overall plasticky feel. Similarly priced to the Katana is the Daiwa Crossfire. I bought this for my brother for squid fishing from our local estuary because it's compact, it has a lot of metal components, so it has a more premium feel. It's also got a really nice drag and great line lay. How are you now finding going back to a Kind of beginner's generalist sea fishing setup, Matt. It feels unbelievably clunky. My personal favourite for under 70 quid is the Daiwa Ninja. The line lay was great, the overall build quality is amazing, came with a spare spool when I ordered it, and it was just all round fantastic. Now I'm going to show you a reel that's a bit different from all the ones we've just looked at. Pen Pursuit is more rugged, it's tougher, and I think it's better adapted to a saltwater environment than similarly priced reels from Shimano and Daiwa. These reels are tougher, even though maybe they're not what they used to be back in the day. We've looked at reels up to about 40 or 50 quid. What do you get if you reach up to 70? If you're looking to upgrade on the Pen Pursuit, it's worth checking out the Pen Fierce, which is compact, sleeker, better at handling light lines. And if you're looking for an upgrade on the Daiwa Ninja, that would be the Daiwa Legalis. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find what you're looking for. And if you want more information, we have links below. Thanks for watching, catch you later. There's gonna be a lot of action, look at these birds. Birds just keep on working back and forth along this cliff. 
Mm. This should be around. 